I was afraid you was going to ask me that. It's, it's been at least 20 some years, 25 years or something. So I needed hearing aids really bad. I went and got some that didn't fit me. They just didn't work. And I met Neil at the fairgrounds and he told me what to do. Got me hearing aids that fit and worked for me. Well, basically with my wife, that was the biggest issue. People would have to holler at me on the job. They would throw sticks, little rocks or something to get my attention because they knew I couldn't hear. A lot of times, like going to church, I couldn't get the sermon, half of the sermon. So I was happy when they started posting it and then I could go home and get the whole ser sermon. So. That's what I really liked. If I went and heard somebody else talk, I just sat there, act like I enjoyed it. <laughs> and you couldn't hear much. Well, Dr. Neal at the fairgrounds, he had his equipment set up and he did a bunch of tests there. And he goes, you really need hearing aids that fit you. What I mean is, my hearing loss. I came in, he went right to work on my ears, gave me the paperwork, I, and he also said, you qualify for L and I. I was excited, but L and I, they gave me a stack of papers that was about like this, and they wanted the very first job I had ever worked on and all the jobs right up to this time. So I took it in and told the lady, I said, I can't remember everybody. She said, do your best, and then bring them in. L and I settled, and they said, we will buy your hearing aids for the rest of your life and your batteries for the rest of your life. And Neil helped me get all of that done and everything. And then when that came through, he started working up with me and him and his assistants on what kind of hearing aids fit me. I have to have this kind, which has the outside piece because the hearing aid that goes in my ear isn't strong enough. I hadn't proved 100%. People would address me from like at church or from different places, from the pulpit or uh, at work. My boss would say something, I can now hear him and know that he's talking to me and not to somebody else somebody's talking to you you don't know that they're talking to you but now you know people are talking to you and that makes a huge difference even my little grandkids and great grandkids oh what a blessing to be able to hear them of course my kids grew up knowing that I was hard hearing so they always raised their voices uh, when they talked to their dad or come up and hit me on the shoulder or something something because I had six girls so they uh, kind of talk soft so girls do. Well if I had trouble with a hearing aid I know one time one hearing aid I had was just giving me fits I'd put it in my ear and then after a little bit it's I'd hear this beep beep like Morse code going all the time and I'd bring it in they'd send it in and uh, they'd send it back they'd say there's nothing wrong with this hearing aid they did that about three times finally I come into the receptionist and I said do you have someone here that can check this hearing aid because I hear this all the time on the way back of course they handle them pretty easy she said I found it it's just a very slight pressure on the hearing aid, it starts. They found it when the company couldn't, these, these people found it here. And uh, so that, you know, they always f found my problem. I enjoy these people because they uh, like to smile, they like to laugh, and, uh, w and I like to laugh and, and be happy, so. This is a happy place for me. I have coffee with a bunch of guys that 
Carl's Jr. They, they're all older, so they're getting to where they need the hearing aids and stuff. I always send them here and they go, wow, it costs too much there. I'll order one through the internet. I go, okay, good luck with that. Let me know. I said, I still got a card for Columbia Basin Hearing. And uh, they come back and they go, can I have that card? And they go, well, where's your hearing aid? And you go, them things are worse. <laughs> are worthless <laughs> and I go I tried to tell you you wouldn't listen <laughs> you get what you pay for <laughs>